I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. During the Charleston, if you ever second guess yourself, this exercise will be a great way to test your instincts. I call it Charleston Chain Reaction. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's roll the Mahjong dice to see which seat we're in for the exercise. I rolled an eight. The Joker is a six. So I rolled an eight. That means we're going to be player four, non-dealer. Player four, I'll get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Okay, we have no flowers, no jokers, no multiples. This is gonna be interesting. This is when you look to see the predominant pattern in the hand, the starting hand. We have single dragons, two, six, eight, one, two, three, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. So we do have a lot of six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tiles for consecutive run. We also have two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, but there's a gap, no fours. So I think what I would try here is either six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run, or maybe a year hand since we have the white dragon. So for this first, exercise let's approach it from a consecutive run standpoint we'll gather tiles six through nine i'm going to take a photo of this dealt hand so that we can recreate it and we're going to pass these little numbers six seven eight nine now let's look at the hands for consecutive run because there's one hand that uses dragons and it is the hand with a matching dragon, fifth one down. The red would go with one of these, seven, eight, nine, the corresponding dragon. And we have no flowers. That particular hand requires three flowers. So I would say that is a pretty slim chance at this stage. So I might even pass that red dragon. I would, probably would not pass the white dragon. I try not to pass the white dragon unless I have, have to. Let's go ahead and pass these three. That is a little risky. One, two, three. As a matter of fact, I think, I think what I would do is give up the dragon right now to break up that consecutive run. So we're gonna bring these in and I'm gonna take a photo of that first pass. So we got a flower, which we're gonna keep. We could use that in one of three hands. And here we have tiles we can pass. Let's pass these three. We're gonna take a photo here. We picked up a seven that's in our range of four numbers, so we can keep that. Here we have one, two, four. That's a little bit risky. Here we have seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine with eights maybe. We could break this up a little and give up the six. Maybe discard these three. We'll take a photo here. And now we're going to have to make a choice because I will not pass like numbers. We have two, three, two, three. So I think we could maybe do seven, eight, nine consecutive run in one suit, seven, eight, seven, eight, or we could do seven, eight, nine with eights. So really 
this is the only tile we didn't use. To keep my options open, I would go ahead and pass the white dragon. I try not to do that, but we need options here. We only have one multiple. Let's take a photo of that incoming pass. Keep the flower. So we need to leverage these flowers and the sevens. So I think what I would do is probably focus on those flower hands. There are three, third one down, pair of flowers, seven, eight, nine in one suit, Kongs. The other option would be the fifth hand down, maybe seven, eight, if we get the red dragon back. And then we could maybe do seven, eight, seven, eight, second from the bottom. Because of the flowers, let's go ahead and discard the eight, and that way we're not passing two wins together. With news on the card, passing two wins together is pretty risky. Let's take a photo of that incoming pass. And we got a keeper, and even a keeper here, seven, eight, nine. We have three tiles to pass, so we really don't have to make any other decisions. We can pass these right here. And we'll take a photo there. We did get a six. We're back to that four number range, six through nine. But I think that we're strong enough with seven, eight, seven, eight flowers to give up the six and do a full pass. We could even do seven, eight, nine Kongs with the flowers. Maybe what we should do is give up the nine and keep the six. Let's do that. If we get a five crack, maybe we could do the first hand under consecutive rim, but we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers. So let's go ahead and get our pass. We got a six. Really, we're in two suits here, though. So I would say we have three, four discards maybe, before we have to decide. If I had to pick a hand, I probably would play either the four, third hand down, pair of flowers, seven, eight, nine Kongs, or second from the bottom, four flowers, seven, eight, seven, eight. But I would keep all this and see what comes in. Discard these first. So we have four discards for consecutive run. Let's recreate this and approach it from a year perspective and see if the year category might have been a better choice. I'll recreate the hand and the Charleston. That's what we started with. This is how we started. So let's see. I thought of maybe 2468 or the year. So we do not need 7, 3, Two thousand nineteen. I'm still thinking there is some potential for two four six eight, but I would not pass like numbers like that. I think that would be really risky. It's almost as bad as passing a pair, in my opinion. So we can't keep them all though. So let's go ahead and pass the eight. These three. We're looking for year tiles. So here we have two, one, two, nine, south. Just gather every tile for that category. There's one hand that uses wins, so let's just keep it. And we can discard one of each suit. We got a one, and we have tiles we can pass, so we don't have to pick a hand. 
we've got a 2, and we have like numbers. So at this point, since we only have one other dragon, let's break that up and give it away. 2019219 south. Since we have a multiple in mixed suits, let's go ahead and give up the south because we'd have to throw away a pair of ones. I think I'd rather leverage those multiples. So for these two multiples, we could play either the first hand or we could play the second hand down or maybe even play the big ear hand. We'd have to throw away these pairs though. So I probably wouldn't consider the big ear hand. Let's go ahead and discard these three. We got a flower. So I think because of the flowers here, I'd probably focus on the very first hand. Let's see, two, zero, one, nine, and then ones and nines. One, nine, two, so these would be plan B. Two, zero, one, nine, which we're missing, and then one, nine. We did end up with east, west, which is why I don't like to pass two wins together. We could maybe play 2019 with the wins, but we'd have to throw away two pair. I don't think I would do that. I think I'd leverage the pairs. This way we're only breaking up one. Keeping these for options. 2019, we need the one dot and the nine dot, and then one nine. This is risky and this is risky. Let's go ahead and pass these two. Two, three, west. We got a nine. And we do have tiles we can pass. Let's pass these three. Okay, we got a two. So that's a pretty big multiple there. Two, zero, one, nine. This would work for the second hand down on the right. 2019. We do have tiles we can pass there. 2019. We could do 20 and then one dot nine crack, but we'd have to throw away a pung of twos. I think I would rather leverage the twos. Two, zero, one, nine, second hand down on the right, or two, zero, one, nine. So basically, we used all these for those options. Let's give up a two so we can do a full pass. And that's one of each suit, which is fine. They're all evens, but since they're one of each suit, I don't think that's as risky. Still a little bit of risk, but every pass has risk if you think about it. So we didn't get any keepers. I think I would probably push for the very first hand, six discards for the very first hand, leveraging the flowers and the ones. I would definitely keep the two and the nine because we still have an option to do 2019 second hand down and we could use these as joker bait. We really didn't use these though. So I would say we have six discards. So consecutive run was definitely the way to go, even though there is potential here. The purpose of the Charleston is to put yourself in a position of strength going into the pick and discard phase of the game. You generally can pick a category and gather tiles for that category during the Charleston. Try not to pick a hand until you run out of discards. 
Stay at the category level for as long as possible. When you run out of discards, then pick a hand. And if you make a mistake during the Charleston, you can recover, so have no regrets. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.